Today I'm analyzing the last Tango in Vegas roulette system, and at the end of the video I'll be giving it a true score rating so you'll know if this system is right for you. I first saw this on CEG's channel and the link to that video is in the description. The idea is to take your last $200 and put it all out there hoping for a nice win before you leave the strip but then you have to walk away. I tested 100,000 bots and the bot that did the best over 500 visits to the casino won almost $60,000. I'll go over all of this and more, but first we're gonna watch one of the bots play the strategy. It's a $75 bet on the middle dozen, $25 straight up on the 17, and 25 each on the splits around the 17. There's a 2.7% chance of winning 27.25, and on almost one out of three chance to hit the dozen bet and stay in the game. This is one of the winning sessions. Let's take a look. 19 red. All right, we won the dozen. That's a win of $25 and we're still in the game. 15 black. All right, we repeated that. 13 black. Again, 19 red, and again, 13 black. So this is some of the best outcomes where you're staying in the game and you have another chance at getting that big jackpot. 15 black, 17 black. And there we won the jackpot, 27, 25, one. What would happen if we simulated 100,000 bots to do the exact same thing? Let's find out. So here's the simulation report. There's uh, just about 40 pages of data here, so I can't cover everything in this video, but if you do wanna dig deeper, you can read this report and all my others at thinktank.dicedata.info. Here's the experiment they ran. I ran it on all three wheel types, 100,000 bots each. They averaged about 1.2 spins per bot. Here's the strategy steps. We stopped on a win of $375. So that's a win on any of the splits or a win of that jackpot on the 17. Here are the overall wins by session. So check this out. 16.6% of the bots won money on the single zero wheel. That's essentially one throw of the die, a one in six chance of winning money with this strategy. Now, remember the bots are stopping once they won $375, 83.4% chance of losing. How much did they win or loss? Well, typically they're gonna lose the whole $200. That's the most likely outcome with this strategy. If they're very lucky, they could win up to $500. If they are extremely lucky, the full range, the bots who won the most, $2,875. Here's the profit and loss balance. This is definitely a strategy that loses frequently, but occasionally, very, very rarely has some really big wins, especially as compared to the amount of the bets that are on the table. If we look at the data for any individual spins, 2.7% down to 2.5% on the triple zero, that's the chance of hitting the jackpot. That's the 17. About one out of three times, a little less than that actually, um, the bots are gonna win some money um, and the rest of the time they're going to get whacked. It should come as no surprise that this is an extreme volatility strategy and you should be buckling up for a wild ride. So this is a really interesting strategy because when you win, it's very rare, but the win amount is huge as compared to the bankroll. So look at what happens when I had the bots play at the casino multiple times. Now we saw earlier after one visit, they have about a 16.6% .6 chance of winning at the single zero wheel. But look what happens after 10 visits, that goes up to 38.9, all the way over 42% after 20 visits, and it goes up to a maximum at 50 visits of 42.6. Starts going back down again. That's, of course, the house edge asserting its power over the player. But look at that 35.2% on the single zero wheel after 500 visits at the casino. So that's really interesting because you really just have to win once and it covers a lot of losing sessions. That's how the strategy works. Here's the potential profit and loss over up to 500 visits. And this is not, these wins are not typical. Look at this. This is the best out of 100,000 bots. That was also the best out of the 100,500 times. 
they were able to win $57,000. That's crazy to me. Now, that's not typical. The typical number is $4,825 lost. That's what you would typically experience. But the range here from a plus of almost 60,000 down to a loss of, you know, 52,000, that's the full range of what these bots experienced over 500 visits to the casino. So is this a strategy you should be playing? Well, this is the true score report for the double zero. House Edge is elevated 5.24%. Profit and loss balance gets five stars. It does lose frequently, but it has very big wins. The wins are much larger than the losses. Volatility is extreme. Vec jackpot factor is high. Betting power is minimal. Money does vanish quickly with this strategy. It does best for the jackpot hunter. No surprise there. Entertainment seeker gets three stars. Palm grinder and paycheck player. Not a great strategy for either of you. And the bankroll requirements, $200 is what you need for the last tango in Vegas. If you found this interesting, I hope you'll give the channel a like and a subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, good luck at the tables.